Hello students, this is Shahid sir. Today we are going to discuss on life processes. So first question should come in your mind that what are the life processes? What is the meaning of life processes? So there are certain basic vital processes which are essential for an organism to stay healthy and to maintain the proper functioning of the body organ system which all are necessary for survival so actually life processes are the processes which are carried out in our body and which are very essential for survival this basic essential activities performed by an organism are called as life processes so every processes which is carried out inside our body which are very essential without that processes we are not able to survive this all the processes are known as life processes for example types of life processes first that is nutrition which is very essential without nutrition we are not able to survive then transportation respiration excretion these are some of the life processes which are essential for the survival for the life so each we will discuss in detail so these are some of the life processes first of all we will discuss about nutrition so first you should aware of what is the meaning of nutrition what is the nutrition actually means the definition of nutrition will discuss so topics to be covered in this lesson are definition of nutrition types of nutrition how do organism obtain their nutrition nutrition in amoeba and the nutrition in human being these are the topics we'll discuss in the nutrition so we'll begin with the definition of the nutrition so what is the definition of nutrition what is the actual meaning of nutrition so it is the process of taking food by an organism and the utilization of food for energy is known as the nutrition so in simple way what is nutrition intake of food by an organism is called the nutrition now why do we need food what is the requirement of food for us so from food we get energy so it provide the energy it helps in the growth so without the food we can't we can't grow so it helps in growth it provides immunity to the body so these are the need of the food because of this we need food now nutrition there are mainly two types of nutrition one that is autotrophic nutrition and the second one that is heterotrophic nutrition these are mainly the types of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic will discuss in detail here you can see in chart autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition so we'll discuss this autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition in detail now first one autotrophic nutrition so what is the meaning of autotrophic nutrition first autotrophic means self nutrition auto means self trophic that is the nutrition so autotrophic nutrition it means the self nutrition in this type of nutrition organism synthesize their own food they are not dependent on any other organism that's why it is said to be the autotrophic nutrition for example all green plants all green plants are not dependent on any other organism they are making their food by their own with the help of sunlight so they are not dependent on any other organism this type of nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition now it can be also it can also be classified into two types that is photosynthesis and chemosynthesis these both the types are the type of autotrophic nutrition photosynthesis it means the type of autotrophic nutrition in which organisms utilize the sunlight and make their own food chemosynthesis chemo means chemical organism here also organisms are not dependent on any other organism but they are utilizing the chemical here the chemical means inorganic compound they are get utilizing the inorganic compound from the soil like nitrogen and sulfur and they make their own food so organism which shows the chemosynthesis are mainly some types of bacteria and photosynthesis organisms you already know 
which organism shows photo photosynthesis that is all the green plant and some bacteria also photosynthesis we'll discuss about photosynthesis what is photosynthesis it is the process by which organism make their own food with the help of sunlight and carbon dioxide this process is called the photosynthesis so it is a type of autotrophic nutrition in which organism utilizes sunlight and they make their own food for example green plants algae as we have discussed earlier and certain bacteria like blue blue green algae that is a cyanobacteria now what are the requirements of photosynthesis what they require to perform this what are the requirement of photosynthesis the requirement the main requirement of photosynthesis are sunlight it is very essential carbon dioxide chlorophyll and water these are the main requirement of photosynthesis what is chlorophyll you already know about this chlorophyll it is a green pigment which is present in milages it is present in the plant here equation of photosynthesis is already written in this you can easily see left hand side left hand side of the arrow you can see the carbon dioxide and water on arrow you can see the light and chlorophyll it shows that it takes place in the presence of light in the presence of chlorophyll these are the requirements of photosynthesis and what it will form it will form the glucose what is glucose here you can consider glucose as a food for plants so it first it will form glucose as a food it will form the glucose and as a by product it also releases oxygen in the atmosphere and we know what is the role of oxygen in our life so this way also as a by product they are releasing oxygen and this oxygen it very it is very important for us for the life of any muscle so, so this way it also help us and releases the h2o that is water so that is about the photosynthesis this is the photosynthesis now the next topic is heterotrophic nutrition so first of all what is the meaning of heterotrophic nutrition so it is the type of nutrition in which organism is dependent on any other organism for food so hetero means dependent trophic nutrition here the organism is dependent on any other organism they are not able to make their own food that's why that type of nutrition is known as the heterotrophic nutrition it means one organism is depend on any other organism or it is dependent on any other organism it is said to be the heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition can further classified into three types these three types are namely saprophytic parasitic and holozoic these are the three types of heterotrophic nutrition so we'll discuss each in detail one by one first one saprophytic sapro means dead and decaying material dead and decaying substances so in the saprophytic nutrition organism depends on non living substances that's why they say to be the saprophytic sapro mean non living non living things that depends on non living things non living substances for example some bacteria and fungi parasitic parasitic nutrition it is a type of nutrition in which organism depends on another living organism so it is different than saprophytic because saprophytic organism depends on dead other dead material but here in parasitic organism depend on one organism depend on any other living organism this way we can differ parasitic and saprophytic example several bacteria fungi plant like ascida animal like tapworm etc and the last one is holozoic what do you mean by holozoic nutrition so part in this type of nutrition part of a plant or animal or whole organism are taken in as food which is then digested with the help of digestive enzyme example is amoeba a human and all the higher animals whatever we are doing we are taking the complex food and this complex food is then converted into a simple food with the help of digestive enzyme so this type of nutrition in which organism is taking the complex food and with the help of enzyme this complex food is converted into the simple food this type of nutrition is known as the holozoic nutrition thank you